Two years after a government blunder saw millions of dollars in funding allocated to Mafra Secondary College instead of Mafra Primary School, both schools today unveiled upgrades. Their principals say despite a confused start to the projects, the outcome is a win for the entire town. It may be 83 years since Norm Hibbins passed through Mafra Primary School's gates for his first day of school, but today he returned to witness the unveiling of the school's new buildings. Well, I started in 1927. It's amazing really what they've done. Well, the kids are, you know, they're lucky really, aren't they? Victorian Treasurer John Lenders officially opened the upgraded school after a warm welcome from Mafra Primary's pupils. We've kept the best of the, the old and we've now got a lot of light, we've got new carpets, it's clean, it's spacious and it's designed for education. The school today celebrated its $4 million refurbishment. And that's the end of the master plan, so all our facilities at the school are new and wonderful. I think it's really great with the new gymnasium, the art and the music room, all the new classrooms. Yeah, they're more modern and just bigger and better. Meanwhile, Mafra Secondary College also had calls for celebration as it officially opened stage two of a $5 million upgrade. In 2010 we've moved into our music, arts and multimedia building and also we've had our administration area revamped. 